Hey everyone, I'm Michael, and this is another episode in my series, A Plant a Week. In this series, I talk about various houseplants. I highlight one for the whole video, talking about how to properly care for it, how to water it, how to propagate it, everything that you need to know to keep your plant healthy and happy. This plant is called Brainia nervosa, or as it's more commonly known, snowbush. And it's called that for obvious reasons. The petals come in with white flecks and often completely white, giving the illusion that this bushy plant is capped in snow. It's native to tropical Asia, the Pacific Islands, and Australia, places that don't typically get snow. These shrubs have since been introduced into the gardening community, first as outdoor plants, however more recently it's become more common as a houseplant. I say that, but I've only seen two in nurseries in my area, and my sister and I bought them up. <laughs> it's become one of my favorite plants. The delicate white leaves, the red stems, it's just so pretty. One thing you gotta know if you get this plant is that it likes its water, and I mean it. Mine is potted in a terracotta pot, and I have to water it every two days. They like to stay moist and can fade pretty quickly if you let the soil dry out. My sisters did not last that long for that very reason. It dried up pretty quickly and there was no saving it. They also like to be in a more humid place and prefer humidity at around or above 50%. This plant is a bit finicky and will drop leaves if it's not getting the water or humidity requirements it needs. As far as soil goes, because it likes to have moist feet, you could get away with planting this directly into potting soil. You could add a little perlite if you're a heavy-handed waterer, but mine is just in potting soil and I still have to water it every two days. The shrub is fast growing and you'll want to repot it every couple of years. It's ideal to repot in the spring, right before the growing season, but if your plant is outgrowing its current home, it's best to just give it a repot anytime that it needs it. When I first purchased this plant, I had no idea how to care for it, and a few places told me that it could handle lower light. So at first I had it in a lower light area, and it lost all of its top leaves. I was pretty sure that it was going to die. I've since moved it to a much brighter location, right in the west facing window of my bedroom, where it receives a lot of bright light and since then it's flourished. As far as fertilizing goes, you want to fertilize this plant every 2-3 to three weeks in the summer. It's best to use a diluted balanced fertilizer or anything organic. I've actually been using coffee to fertilize my plants the last month and it seems to be working pretty good as a fertilizer, although the caffeine keeps them up all night. So rowdy. If you want to propagate these, you can't do it by just a simple leaf cutting. These are a woody shrub, so the best way to propagate is through stem cuttings. Take a significant portion of a stem with leaves, cut it below a node, and place that in moist potting mix. It'd also really help if you placed that cutting in a terrarium or cover it in plastic, as long as it's in a high humidity place, at least until it roots. In terms of pests, you might think the snowbush would be prone to fungus gnats, what with its constantly moist soil, but I've actually found it's rather resilient to pests. I occasionally have problems with fungus gnats thanks to my heavy watering hand, but not so much with this plant. Thankfully, this plant is non-toxic, making it a safe and beautiful choice for homes with nosy pets or children. One thing you'll want to do with your snowbush is prune it. These can get quite large. I'm talking like five to eight feet tall large. As a shrub, they take really well to pruning. When pruning, make sure to cut back just before a leaf node. In this way, you can shape your snowbush how you like. I haven't pruned mine yet. I'm waiting for it to get a little bit bigger, but I think I want to try and make mine into a tree. In my 20 plant questions video, I said that this is probably one of the rarest plants in my collection. And that's simply because this snowbush is one of two that I've seen in my whole life. It's just so beautiful and delicate though. I highly recommend grabbing one if you happen across one. It needs a lot of watering and it can be a little finicky, but it's definitely worth it. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for similar content. On Mondays, I post videos about houseplants. And on Fridays, I also post videos about houseplants. And reading, writing, photography, art, and any other generic interests of mine. As always, you can find my social media links in the description below. Also, you can find links to H&H &H Games, the board game company I've helped create, and our debut board game, Season of Heroes. You can also find the Amazon links to my fantasy series, A Chronicle of Crowns. Thanks for watching. Bye!